In the journey of learning, education comes with one's dedication, perseverance, and continuous hard work. Your eagerness of valuing education will help you shape who you are. As one of the scaffoldings of your success, the Tinabuna National High School is forever grateful to have the chance of molding your dreams somehow and in some ways. Despite of the existing challenge, the Parents Teachers Association, headed by Honorable Billy Pontelias and the Tinabuna National High School faculty, headed by Mr. Luis D. Pavas, presents to you the third senior high school graduation ceremonies with the theme Educalidad, Championing the Nation's Future, with the highlights of the essential rule of quality education in helping Filipino learners achieve their full potential in order to fulfill their dreams and contribute meaningfully to the nation building. To formally start our virtual graduation, let's have the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by an invocation to be led by Mr. Edsel M. Oro. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. Lord, we ask for your wisdom and clear direction over the lives of the graduates of the Nebuna National High School, that you would give them understanding beyond their years. Thank you that your timing is perfect. We pray that you would direct their steps, that your plans for them would prosper. That every place you have determined for them to walk would be paved clear. We ask for you to open doors that need to be opened and close every one that should be shut tight. Allow every gift and treasure you have placed inside their lives to grow, develop, and flourish to bring you glory. Lord, we pray that you would be a lamp for their feet. Fill them with your spirit. Bless them with your favor and peace. All these we ask. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To give us the welcome address, let's hear it from Franz Harvey C. Donia with high honors. On behalf of the Class 2019-2020, it is an honor for me to welcome our dignitaries, starting with our Department of Education Secretary, Honorable Yunor Magtolis Briones, our Regional Directors, Division of Cebu Superintendent, Dr. Marilyn Andales, Katmon District Supervisor, Mr. Glicerio Camungay, Tinabuna National High School Faculty and Staff, headed by our School TIC, Mr. Luis D. Papas, Parents, Friends, and of course, to my fellow batchmates, good afternoon. We all know the unexpected turn of events in our remaining days in high school caused by the COVID-19 global outbreak which forced our untimely exit in school. We were not prepared. We didn't even have the time to personally say goodbye to our classmates, to our friends, and to our teachers. When we woke up the next day, we were surprised that the school is closed. Then up to this day, everything 
remains to be read in the new pages of history. We were in the midst of this crisis, which is unprecedented. This averts us from having the traditional graduation ceremony of this time. And it is my hope that someday we can gather together in person to celebrate. But for the meantime, this digital graduation ceremony is a great way to celebrate and recognize all of our efforts and hard work in our six years high school education. This milestone tell us how far we've come, but it is just the beginning of our journey ahead. We have to capitalize all the knowledge imparted in us from our classrooms and from every learning opportunities we were provided for. This will confidently give us the strength to follow our ideals and courage to follow our dreams. Today is an incredibly special day not only for us graduates but also for our dear parents who have journeyed with us all these years. We are thankful for for your unconditional love and constant support, for the guidance and patience. We truly owe you what we are. And with gratefulness in our hearts, we shared the joy of earning our high school diploma with you. At this point, allow me to express my gratitude to all school administrators and teachers of this institution for committing so much of their time, treasures, an effort in giving us, if not the best, the most relevant senior high school education. Thank you and welcome to this 2020 Tinabuna National High School Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Thank you, friends, Harvey C. Donia, for that welcome address. And now let's hear the message from our school's Division Superintendent, Dr. Marilyn S. Andales. My warm congratulations to the completers and graduates of school year 2019-2020. Graduation is one of the memorable events in the life of a student. It is considered as a meaningful celebration of success after finishing kindergarten, grade 6, grade 10, or grade 12. As you climb into the ladder of the educative process, have hardened life's challenges in its essence. The knowledge, skills, and right attitudes you have acquired from your beloved teachers, co-learners, parents, and all those greatly concerned of your well-being and future are treasures worth keeping and emulating. The hard work, patience, sacrifices in obtaining education, and the persistence of doing something amidst difficulty and resistance from other people are essential values which help shape and prepare you for life. Nurture and use them in becoming the best versions of yourselves to serve as role models to the young generations and as resilient agents of transformation for you to contribute with conviction to building and rebuilding our nation. To my dear teachers, you are now reaping what you saw. The learnings that our learners receive from you will forever be etched in their hearts and minds. Proudly tap your shoulders and say, Congratulations, job well done. Your effort of developing the learners holistically is a manifestation of your dedication and hard work. Receive my profound appreciation for all your efforts. May you never get tired of teaching our learners, whatever the situations may be, so that we can all together move forward to championing the nation's future by persistently upholding the quality, basic education, we all dream of. To you, my dear parents, your sacrifices paid off. Celebrate every harvest and appreciate all efforts exerted to keep them motivated in pursuing their dreams. Be with them always and shower them with your steadfast support and 
selfless love. In this trying time, I care for everyone's safety. Let us work hand in hand and follow all the safety protocols for our protection and others as well. Let us show our concern by abiding the law so that we can enjoy life and experience the beauty in it. We are blessed by God with the power to discern what is right and wrong. Let us maximize its use for His glory. As responsible citizens, let us unite as one and be effective agents of transformation to make this world a better place to live. Thank you for that message, Dr. Marilyn S. Andales. And now to give us his congratulatory message to our dear graduates, let's have the school head of Tinebunan National High School, Mr. Luis D. Papas. A warm and sincere congratulations to our dear graduates. This day marks a significant moment of your scholastic achievement. It signifies great works and success on your part as student of this institution as well as to the teachers who labor hard so that the good quality education may be imparted to you, our nation's future. Amidst the challenge that we are facing, we cannot help but still be thankful for this day. Nothing can stop us from achieving our goals. Your success today, my dear graduates, simply spells out how education should be. Kind of education that transcends through time and situation. The kind of education that truly prepares the youth for any challenge. For after all, you are our nation's future. Thus, as the time for this occasion goes, so long to the Kalidad, and Tataguyod sa Kinabukasan ng Bayan. Indeed, this year's time speaks of the kind of education that is relevant and is able to make students adapt, survive, and win over every challenge being met. This resonates the wisdom given by Martin Luther King Jr. when he said, Intelligence plus character is the goal of true education. Shipping both the person's intelligence and character can make proactive citizens. Thus, Becoming indeed the mission's bright future. That's what we hope you to be. Together with the entire faculty of this institution, we challenge each one of you to go out there and become part of society's solution. To become agents of positive change. To all beloved parents who tirelessly support their children, thank you for believing in your children and interesting to us their welfare. Indeed, as parents, there is no other great legacy other than values that we can live with your children but education. To make them equip whatever life may be bring for them, you may make the wise and sound decision in sending your children to school. Congratulations! Lastly, Thank you, dear faculty and staff, for your unselfish service and commitment. And to all of us, congratulations. Thank you and to our God be all the glory. Thank you for that message, Mr. Luis D. Papas. And now to officially confer our candidates for graduation, let's have our Public Schools District Supervisor in Katmon District, Mr. Glicerio L. Kamungay. By virtue of the authority delegated to me by the school's Division Superintendent of Cebu Province Division, Dr. Marilyn Is Andales, based on the facts and figures presented to me by your school principal, Mr. Luis Papas, with the assurance that you have completed the minimum requirements for completion in the junior high school and graduation in the senior high school curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. I, Mr. Giselio L. Camungay, 
Public Schools District Supervisor of the District of Katmung, Division of Sikh Province, hereby confirm your permission this third day of April 2020 with all the rights, honors, and privileges here unto our team. In sport, you are now eligible for transfer or admission to any secondary schools within the Republic of the Philippines. Congratulations and Godspeed. Congratulations, graduates. It is my great honor and privilege to introduce to you our guest speaker. She had become the person who she is now because of the values that was nurtured during her primary and tertiary years. She graduated at University of Southern Philippines Foundation with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Management Accounting last March 2015. Later that time, she became an accounting staff in some of the well-known companies. But because of her willingness to try new things, she decided to take the Napalcom Police Officer Entrance Exam, and she passed. Her PNP journey started when she joined the PNP service last October 2018, then proceeded to basic recruit course for six months at Camp Jesse Robredo, Sitio Laray Barangay Hugan, Consolacion, Cebu. And she graduated with some awards and commendations. After that, she was assigned as police trainee at Bugu City Police Station, then later transferred at Barili Police Station. She graduated in public safety field training program and ranked as top one in their company. And now, her current assignment is with the Regional Mobile Force Battalion 7 as a rifleman. So now, let's welcome our guest speaker, an alumna here in Tinabunan National High School, Patrol Woman Jessa A. Arinilia. Good day to all of you. I'm so honored to be invited to such a momentous occasions in your lives, ones that will garner more likes on Facebook and Instagram with the hashtags, I made it, hashtag proud graduates. This day, I mean not only congratulating you graduates who successfully completed the years in learning high school, but I'm also congratulating your proud parents and your dear teachers who have been waiting for this very special academic achievement of yours. Give thanks to them. If not because of them, you're not here today celebrating your success. Graduates, I know some of you feel anxious and feel scared after today's celebration. Take it easy. It is going to be fine. The K-12 curriculum has a purpose. And that's to make you more ready and more equipped to join a workforce or enter a college. Maybe some of you have questions in mind if you're ready to go out in this institution and face life's challenges. Nine years ago, I was just like you. I was happy and excited, but I also felt fear. The fear of the unknown future. The fear of the new routine and the fear of in, being in the new school with new friends. During my high school days, I even had a doubt if I have a chance to go to college, which I really wanted to. But you see, God saw a desire in my heart and made my way to college. It was a week after high school graduation, I learned that University of Southern Philippines Foundation offers a full scholarship to qualified athletes in the field of athletics. So I decided to join the tryout for me to qualify the said scholarship and thanks God I was able to avail a full scholarship in that school. My first year in college was really amazing and overwhelming at the same time. Living away from my parents and independently made decisions for my studies. I took up Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Management Accounting, after declining my first five-year course choice, which is Civil Engineering. As a student athlete, 
I juggled training and school every day for four years. Balancing my training schedule and class schedule was a bit challenging. A lot of times, I had a hard time dealing with conflict of schedule. I even remember getting in vain with my schoolmates who are full-time students, having all their time savoring college life. But I told myself, I need to endure the situation I am in. Make the most out of it and be grateful for I know I have to fulfill an ultimate mission in life. My overall journey as a student athlete indeed was a great experience and taught me a lot that made me a person I am now. After all the what-ifs, anxieties, and struggles I've encountered, with God's grace, I finished my degree course last March 2015. A month after graduation, I was hired as an accounting staff at the Boydis Land Incorporated for almost a year a junior accountant at Mercedes Benz Group Services of the Philippines, accounting assistant at Odisha Suarez Wedding Rings, and branch operations staff at Des Financing Corporation before entering Philippine National Fully Service. It was April 2017 when I decided to take Napulcom Police Officer Entrance Exam. A week before the examination, my mama won't allow me to take the exam. Hindi niya pa ni mama. Ayaw nagpadayan o take anak kay kuya ang magpulis ka rin. But I told myself, what if I try? Two months after the exam, the result was out. And I didn't expect my name was there. Because I didn't do any review before the exam because I'm still working that time. And I told myself, all things are difficult at first, but they become easy. It is really meant for you. May 2018, when I applied the PNP attrition on regular quota. And thank God, I survived the whole process of the application until October 2018 as we took our oath as a member of the Philippine National Police Service. After taking... We spent almost seven months in the Police Training Center 7 for the Public Safety Basic Recruit course. And after that, we undergo special skills and field orientation for six months. Three months of it, I was assigned at Bugu City Police Station and another three months at Barili Police Station before becoming a full-pledged police officer, then assigned as a rifleman at Regional Mobile Force Battalion 7 until prison. Most of the civilian people see that being a police officer is an AC job. No, it's not. We police officers sometimes become a teacher, a traffic enforcer, environmentalist, a social worker, a guidance counselor, and everything. But you don't hear us complain about anything, even if how people criticize or abuse us as a public servant. This is because we work hard to achieve this and we ought to do this. Whatever you plan after graduation, always remember to put God in the center of everything because God has a better plan ahead of you. For those of you who can go to college, please be a responsible student and don't disappoint your parents or those who work hard to pay your tuition fee. And those who are planning to join workforce, please be a good worker. And for those who are already parents here, please be a responsible parents to your kids. Graduates, follow your heart's desire and work diligently towards your goal. Brace yourself for many challenges and remember to learn from them. By doing great and making good outside this institution, you already made Tinabuna National High School a proud of you. Once again, congratulations and be safe always. 
Thank you for that insightful message, Patrol Woman Jessa A. Arinilia. And now to present the graduates in Tinabunan National High School Watch 2019-2020, let's have Mr. Aljun C. Donia, a grade 12 advisor. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Tinabunan National High School for the school year 2019-2020. To start with, let's have the grade 12 garnet with our advisor, Mr. Aljun C. Donia. Albius Daniel J. Pinabunan Katmun Cebu. Butasla Joel C. Pinabunan Katmun Cebu. Culinaris Mark Vincent E. Pinabukan Katmun Cebu. Pulipano Arnel P. Pinabunan Katmun Cebu. Pulipano Reynold D. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Kulipano Vince Olsen P Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Donia Franz Harvey C Tinabunan Katmun Cebu With high honors Dungalio Ken Harold R Tinabukan Katmun Cebu Duran Clint Dave G Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Dorias Christian C Baktas Katmun Cebu Hagna Chiva C Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Molde Marvin D Hinabukan Katmun Cebu Pontilias Aljon L Tabili Katmun Cebu Rosales Michael Dave E Kabungaan Katmun Cebu Salcedo Zephi C Baktas Katmun Cebu Arenilia Nisil A Baktas Katmun Cebu With Honors Baldis Pinusa Nicole D. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu with honors. Botaslak Lizel Tabili Katmun Cebu with honors. Polipano Heschi V. Baktas Katmun Cebu with honors. Polita J. Rose M. Tabili Katmun Cebu with honors. Colonia Mika D. Baktas Katmun Cebu with honors. Mulit Virgie J. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Montesilio Claren B. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu With Honors Cruel Beveluna C. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu With Honors Cruel Crisel B. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu With Honors Rodan Chiren J. B. Baktas Katmun Cebu With Honors and now, let's have the grade 12 gold with our advisor, Mr. Jennery D. Sumalino Jr. Aringu Jumari D. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Butaslak Roy C. R. Tabili Katmun Cebu Rutaya Ricky Q. Tinabukan Katmun Cebu With honors Polipano Joseph Matthew B. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Polipano Neil Clint J Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Colonia John Rex C Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Densing Benji B Kabungaan Katmun Cebu Duran Jennifer Mark C Baktas Katmun Cebu Duran Joshua E Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Borias Ninyu S Hinabukan Katmun Cebu Giwanon Dindo Q Kabungaan Katmun Cebu Horing Jeward C Tinabunan Katmun Cebu Lantaho Arven D Hinabukan Katmun Cebu Lantaho Marvin D Hinabukan Katmun Cebu Tilias Jovelon P. Tabili Katmun Cebu Roldan Harin Kim D. Hinabukan Katmun Cebu With Honors Aringay Lilijin D. Kabungaan Katmun Cebu With Honors Barita Elna A. Baktas Katmun Cebu Calva Donabel D. Tinabunan Katmun Cebu with honors Culinares Hasmin A Kabungaan Katmun Cebu With honors 
Tulipano Jinlin G. Hinabukan Katmun Cebu. With high honors. Dorias Laini B. Hinabunan Katmun Cebu. With honors. Foyles J. Ann R. Kabungaan Katmun Cebu. Ruilo Janilin B. Hinabukan Katmun Cebu. With honors. Thank you, Mr. Aljun, for introducing our graduates in Tinabunan National High School, Batch 2019-2020. And now, at this point, let's have the awarding of honors and special awards to our dear graduates. Jinlin G. Colipano, with high honors. She will also receive an award for being an Outstanding Researcher of the Year, Work Immersion Awardee, and Communication Arts Awardee. Franz Harvey C. Donia, with high honors. He will also receive an award for being an Institutional Service Awardee, Service Awardee, Leadership Awardee, and a Conduct Awardee. Chiron J. B. Roldat, with honors. She will also receive an award for being a Service Awardee and a Conduct Awardee. Laini B. Dorias, with honors. She will also receive an award for being a Conduct Awardee and a Service Awardee. Nisel A. Arinilla, with honors. She will also receive an award for being an Institutional Service Awardee, Service Awardee, and a Conduct Awardee. Nicole D. Baldespinosa, with honors. She will also receive an award for being an Artist of the Year, Institutional Service Awardee, Service Awardee, and a Conduct Awardee. Mika D. Colonia, with honors. She will also receive an award for being an Institutional Service Awardee, Service Awardee, Conduct Awardee, and a Culture and Arts Awardee. Claren B. Montesilio, with honors. She will also receive an award for being an Institutional Service Awardee, Service Awardee, and a Conduct Awardee. Hasmin A. Colinares, with honors. She will also receive an award for being a service awardee. Jaya Rose M. Colita, with honors. Chriselle B. Prowell, with honors. She will also receive an award for being a service awardee. Donabel D. Calva, with honors. She will also receive an award for being a service awardee and a culture and arts awardee. Haren Kim D. Roldat, with honors. He will also receive an award for being a Culture and Arts Awardee and a Conduct Awardee. Lily Jean D. Aringai, with honors. She will also receive an award for being a Culture and Arts Awardee. Hishi V. Colipano, with honors. Vibelona C. Prowell, with honors. Ricky Q. Butaya, with honors honors. He will also receive an award for being an Institutional Service Awardee, Service Awardee, and a Conduct Awardee. Lizelle Botaslak, with honors. Janelin B. Roilo, with honors. Juvilon P. Pontilias, he will receive an award for being an Athlete of the Year. Vince Olsen P. Colipano, he will receive an award for being a Culture and Arts Awardee. Roycey R. Botaslak, he will receive an award for being a service awardee and a conduct awardee. Neil Clint J. Colipano, he will receive an award for being a conduct awardee. J. Ward C. Huring, he will receive an award for being a conduct awardee. Marvin D. Molde, he will receive an award for being a conduct awardee. At this moment, let us all be inspired as one of the students with high honors tells her story in realizing such an achievement. So to give us her highest distinction address, let's have Jinlin G. Colipano. Good day to everyone. Secretary Lenor M. Briones, Secretary of Education. To our regional directors, to Dr. Marilyn Andalas, our Division Superintendent, to Mr. Lucerio L. Camungay, our district supervisor, to the school heads, Katmon district administrators, parents, teachers, 
fellow graduates, viewers, and of course, to our very active school head, Mr. Luis D. Papas, a good and fruitful day to all. A little of positivity rushed through me when the news came that it's I who's going to address my fellow graduates because our last months, our days as seniors, we not really gone along so well due to the suspension of classes because of the pandemic. And right now, I have so much to say since we did not even manage to bond for the last time. And it's kind of sad to deliver my speech in front of a camera instead of speaking live at, at the front of my co-graduates. But in these trying times, we should all learn to adjust to keep everyone safe. We endured six years going to school every day, 10 months each year. This virtual commencement is not what we deserve. However, still, we should give thanks to the school faculty headed by our Mr. Papas, our school head, for doing such efforts to give us the reward of our hard work. Since our day one in high school, our teachers, welcomed us here in Pinaguna National High School. They fed us the knowledge, they helped us grow. And now that we are about to exit the institution, we are also the ones to give us the most proper send off available at the moment. That is why we shall not feel um, unlucky because our, our generation's graduation rights is somehow unique. Not to be favor, I just want to extend my special courtesy to our class advisor, Mr. Junidi Sumalino Jr. Salamat kayo, sir, for always encouraging me to try new things. You're my great companion in joining contests. Kay kanang mapindita, kay just kanang ingunura ka na ako na keep up the good work that I should never learn to keep and that I did it nice. Uh, Sir, you served as my inspiration. Kai, you taught me a lot of things. And kanang, you never gave up on our class. Bisan balik balik na yung mga story na kanang. Kanang, mayun ka na. Wala ka masuko. Nag story ka sa amo ang sayo. I remember a time when you, when you scolded us for having a cut class. <laughs> But then you ended up sharing your life, how you how you got to be who you are today. Sir, that was indeed very inspirational and we learned really much from you. Salamat you guys, sir. And to all the teachers na nakaagi sa akong kasipat, kasabaan, thank you so much for the sacrifice. And to all the teachers around the globe, you all deserve a big round of applause. And um, I'm so proud of you. You may not be the front line of this battle against COVID-19, but by doing your part and by doing as mandated, hero pa din namin kayo lahat. To the Municipal Agriculture Office of Katmon and its staffs, thank you so much for accepting us in your good office since you also served as our teachers during our work immersion. However, without the help of our first teachers, our parents, we won't be able to meet these heroes. And we should also thank them. You guys having both mother and father are so lucky to have both. Since in my case, I have to double my gratification towards my mother because she's the only I have. Um, I lost my dad when I was 10 because he died of hypertension. Uh, at a young age, I realized na kapag mahirap, bawal talaga maging choosy kasi yun nga, wala kang choice. The first time I got to be away from my mom was like times I've been to hell. Whenever I need someone to talk to or to mingle with, I want to I want to share to her my problems about school, about growing up, she's out. And whenever I need someone to be with me in joining contests or whenever I have an event, she's also out. Kay, 
Night work, and then bawal mo ko upset kay lagi sayang ang kita. But I managed to understand because yun nga, bawal maging choosy kay ubri man ta. <laughs> and she struggled. I saw her. She struggled very hard. I also struggled since I was a kid. I've been very competent na. Um, up until today, I still, I still pay for that utang madoob because it's the least I could do to thank her and to make her proud. Okay, even siya, whenever I receive an award from school, it's like a reward for her too for her sacrifice and kana makapawot ng dal sa iyang kakapoy. Until now, I, I'm still struggling to make her prouder for me. And she did all the job, which is supposed to be a job for two. And that's why I'm very proud of her. I was supposed to say this to her during our recollection, but since it was cancelled, I'll just take this chance to say, Na, Ma, salamat ka ayo sa tanan, 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 tanan. <laughs> um, I'll, na, I'll keep the final words since wala pa man mahuman yung sacrifices for me. <laughs> You still have four remaining years for college, ma. Stay, stay strong, ta. Don't be like Papa, na. You give up, na I love you so much. Then see you soon. Stay safe, kay. Kana feeling ako na nakas Abu Dhabi, kay. Mingo na ko. Kamo diha guys na nag-enjoy pa sa company of both parents. Feel the moment. Thank them always and pray for them always. Because we do not know when life will end. May it be ours or our parents. I'm not saying we should prepare for the loss, but I'm telling na we cherish the moment that we still have them, be grateful that we still have each other, and love each other as we still have the chance. To my dear classmates and batchmates, good success! <laughs> Ato na itong April 1st, 2020. Diba? Mawag ang date nga ato ang hinam-hinam nga mabot na unta, makagraduate na ta. But due to this pandemic, naabot na lang ang April 1st, March 1st, ang June 1st, ato July 1st. Illusion na lang day na ito ang tanan, diba? We're supposed to wear our toga as we walk on the carpet. Sit on white chairs, waiting for the confirmation. We are supposed to receive our awards as we rise on stage, our diplomas, and lastly, we will sing our farewell song and hug each other to bid final goodbye. But just like the older generations. But now, all we have to do is wait, adjust, but it's fine. It's super fine. We don't have a choice. I badly want to hug you all. I want to congratulate you in person. Okay, finally, for atong pinagirapan for six years, ni abut na atong mga diploma. But I just want to cry with you that we are about to leave the school. It feels unfair, really. And I know a lot of you too feels the same. I reckon we could make much more memories with the Gold Squad and all we could do right now is to reminisce all those golden moments with you. There's so much to there's so much to enumerate all our frivolities back in high school. But there's so much to count man sad sa to mga achievements that we made as a class. Our great accomplishment, one of our great accomplishments is how we overcome the research defense amidst the uneasiness and the feeling of anxiety to hope its success. All the projects, outputs, assignments, requirements that are submitted will be submitted with a history of the teamwork of the whole class. How we managed to set aside the differences of our section and the other just to carry out the work immersion well. And despite of the 
comparisons we heard from people comparing which class is way better than the other. We remain as friends with no hard feelings. Look, inan. Ganan. Guys, I do hope na we'll stay in touch despite of our different ways to start a new chapter of our stories. Hopefully, we'll bring all the memories with us wherever destiny will take us. I know some of us won't continue to college because of some circumstances, but I know that you also have plans how to attain the better life that we dream and envision inside the four corners of our classroom. To the ones pursuing college, hope to see you soon in Black Toga. To our fellows who are already starting to build their own families, guys, please always be faithful, ask guidance to God, and be strong. We witnessed how this pandemic changed the world and shaken up everything and everyone. Former U.S. President Barack Obama stated on, his, on one of his speeches that our generation is expected to grow up faster than the past generations since we are entitled to cause the better change in the world. That means if, if the world would get any better, it will be up to us. See how they have faith in us that we can save this earth. So that's why we should learn to live our lives without putting other, others' lives at risk. We should learn not to rely our lives to others because the elders, the elder folks that we, we used to think are in charge, we used to believe they know everything, happens not to have the answers to solve this dilemma that the world has been facing today. However, we, we are so young. We can still find solution. We can still probe. We can still create a change. As of the moment, we just have to thank all the frontliners for doing their job to alleviate the situation, to cure, to cure the ill, and to prevent the disease from spreading. They are the real fighters during this battle against COVID-19. As we go on different ways and paths, I want you all to know that what you gained in high school will never be will never be lessened or lost by this pandemic. Instead, we can get another from it. As we travel along each other's journeys, we cannot hold someone's hand for support due to social distancing. But it's our chance to clasp our faith to God and let Him be our guide towards the light at the end of this dark chapter. Thank Him for this great achievement and for keeping us and our loved ones safe against COVID-19. To end up this address, I want you to keep Lady Gaga's words in mind. She said, the graduates from the class of 2020 are the seeds that will grow into a new forest which is far more beautiful and loving than the one we are living in today. That would be all. Once again, a pleasant greetings for everybody. Thank you, Jinlin, for that highest distinction address. And now let's have the message from our public schools district supervisor, Katmon District, Mr. Glacerio L. Kamongay. All the junior high school computers and senior high school graduates of Tinabunan National High School of Barangay Tinabunan Katmon Cebu for school year 2019-2020. Let us also thank God for his opportunity he gave to us that above the pandemic we experienced and all over the world we are still here to celebrate your success. Your completion or graduation is something very special that you, your family and friends must be proud of because your achievement today signifies your perseverance in pursuing your studies. Your completion or graduation today is definitely not the end, but rather a start of a new beginning, and a, a beginning of a new journey in life. For the junior high school completers, pursue your study in senior high school. 
for the for the senior high school graduates, you can now engage in entrepreneurship or join the labor or workforce in the locality or community. Or continue your study in college and be determined to finish a course or degree which can be the path to follow in your quest for a brighter future. With your graduation theme, Sulong Idukalidad, Pagtataguyod sa Kinabukasan ng Bayan, we in the Department of Education emphasized and recognized the important mandated functions of the teachers in ensuring effective delivery of quality basic education to produce holistic and globally competitive individuals. Individuals that are truly educated, equipped with desired values and lifelong skills that can also become a catalyst in building our nation and are capable of transforming our community or country into a better place that everyone loves to stay and live in. Definitely, all of you have an important role to play in achieving prosperity of our country. Let me also express our heart, heartfelt congratulations to the respected and supportive parents of the computers and graduates for the achievement they received today. To the barangay and local municipal officials for their endless support to education. Thank you so much. We are also grateful to all the teachers and staff of Kinabunan National High School headed by the school principal, Mr. Luis Papas, for their untiring commitment and selfless dedication in rendering basic education services to the community and for the common good. We wish you all the luck, more power, and God bless. Thank you for that message, our Public Schools District Supervisor, Mr. Glacerio L. Camungay. For the Pledge of Loyalty, let's have Chiron J. B. Roldan with honors. Pledge of Loyalty Holding proudly these diplomas in our hands, we step from our alma mater with a solemn vow in our hearts. We promise to show gratitude to our parents and teachers who have been responsible for guiding and inspiring us to this memorable day of our lives, to the noble task of rendering unselfish service to God, our parents, our fellow men, and our country. We promise to be loyal to the vision mission of our alma mater and to further guard this diploma from the faint of desecration to make ourselves worthy to the proud name of our alma mater. Thank you, Chiron J. B. Rodan. For the oath of loyalty, let's have Mrs. Emerose M. Pungautan. To our dear graduates, take this oath of loyalty sincerely by stating upon yourself this line. I take this oath of loyalty as a member of the TNHS Alumni Association and pledge to support whatever endeavor and undertaking it may have for the interest of the association. So help me God. Thank you, Mrs. Emeros M. Pungautan. At this point, let's hear another message from our very own Barangay Captain, Honorable Danilo M. Sudario. Mayong adlaw sa tanan, sa labing unang higayon sa kasaysayan sa Tinabunan National High School, atong nasugatan ang pinakalahi na pagtapos atong tulunghaan. Hilom o daw sa walay mga kalihukan so kuhay sa atong naandan. Pinitungod sa pandemic virus na kitawag o COVID-19 na tibuok kalibutan. Bisan pa man, akong mga palipay sa tanang, sa tanang ni graduar sa grade 12 ingon man sa mga ginikanan. Dili na ito bugnaon ang atong tagsa-tagsa ka mga kaugalingon hinoon dublihon ta ang atong kadasig sa pagpadayon sa atong nasugdan nga pakigbisog sa edukasyon. Himuon tang inspirasyon ang atong mga pangandoy sa kinabuhi o labaw sa tanan ang atong walay kinutubang pagsalig sa labawang mapagagahong. Daghang salamat o atong paningkamutan ang nga magpabilin tang likon o himso taliwala ning atong giatubang karon. Thank you, Honorable Danilo M. Sodaria, for that inspirational message. 
To all our graduates, we want to send our deepest congratulations. Remember that success starts in one's mind, but it must not stop there. Everything you experience in Tinabuna National High School is designed to equip you with skills and experiences you'll need to navigate life beyond your next journey. What you learn here is just the beginning. And now we've finally come to an end. But it doesn't mean that it really is the end, but rather the beginning of your next journey in life with new challenges and better opportunities. So before we end this virtual graduation, I want to leave this quote from Anatole Cross. To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. So always remember that there is no limit to what you can do if you keep believing in yourself. So once again, in behalf of Tinebuna National High School faculty and staff, we would like to say congratulations on your well-deserved success and best wishes for your next adventure. Thank you for watching. Keep safe everyone and have a nice day ahead.